Hello, this is GeoTechLan, and today I'll be reviewing Zorin OS. Mostly, I'm going to be focusing on the theme because, as this is a live session, I can't really comment on its usability or stability and performance here. I did actually have issues getting OBS and Simple Screen Recorder to work. And so, with that said, um, Zorin OS is, I think their main goal is to attract newbies to Linux, especially coming from Windows. So as you can see here, their layout is very similar to Windows 10. And, you know, just overall their look and feel. This is a good approach because a lot of people won't try Linux unless they can get a similar experience on it. And so I feel like it has its place in the Linux world here. What is the main thing that makes Zorin OS stand out? And I think the biggest thing here is their Zorin Appearance uh, Manager here. As you can see here, you can choose between three different layouts. The first layout is a more Windows 10 modern type of uh, feel. And then the second option here is more old school. So if you're like a Windows XP fan, the taskbars here are different. Some people still like that. And um, the fact that it's an option is it's a very good thing. And the third uh, panel here or layout here is um, the more traditional GNOME um, look and feel. As the Zorin desktop environment is based on GNOME, I won't actually switch to it because this actually breaks the recording for some reason and i think this approach to having three different layouts is very good actually because it it um lets people choose um, what they want and that's the power of linux that's usually the main advantage of linux is that you can choose your your layout and on top of that zorin also still lets you change to um you know a, either a dark theme um, or several different themes here still lets you change the font and it even lets you customize the panel although I've had issues getting this to work and again this is why this is not a performance and stability review because I can't really judge it based on a live session and so just keep that in mind and honestly um, even with GNOME they could have probably gotten this to move to the bottom and give it a mac os feel like um, deepin does um, and deepin also has a very similar layout so i think that i'm hoping that becomes the trend there even if you change this to the gnome version and then it'll let you change the the dash settings but again i tried playing around with it and i, I couldn't get it to work and i won't try again here because it's gonna break the recording but I think that's mainly it in terms of um, Zorin OS there. I'm actually going to show you how... I'm going to go back to the um, modern layout here and then show you just how the file manager looks with the dark theme. That's pretty nice. Very Again, very Windows 10-like. And I'm actually going to switch back to the original layout here. Just so you guys can see how this looks. But yeah, overall, I really like it. Um, and and so I asked myself, wow, this is such a, a very good OS and very good layout. Um, probably one of the, the, mo the more beautiful layouts here. And I asked myself, why isn't this more popular? And I think I may have an idea, mostly having to do with how the Zorin OS itself is distributed. When you go to download, um, it lets you choose between an ultimate and a core. So the core is free. You can pay what you want. You can pay zero. Um, this is similar to what elementary OS does, but their main OS, you can get it. You know, you can pay zero or you pay as you as you, much as you want. But to get the ultimate Zorin, um, you have to pay and while i'm not completely against this i do like the elementary os better um so it gives people an option because the main advantage linux has over windows or mac is that it's free 
um, to install and I know developers need to get paid but I would rather it be completely community funded and kind of pay as, as much as you can um, that way the OS could be more spread out and people can try the overall OS more I think that's why big reason why it's not as popular and and look they even have Mac OS GNOME 2 desktop layouts so they actually even have what I was talking about how they should have more layouts um, but that's only in the ultimate version I guess and other than that though it's a great OS a great desktop environment it has this modern let you choose your layout option that Deepin also has and I'm hoping other OS's adopt but what do you guys think do you guys um, why don't you think Kazorin OS is more popular seems to cater to Windows people uh, Windows users has wine by uh, default here and is there another reason why it's not as popular let me know in the comments below and if you like this video please like share subscribe and I'll see you guys next time